So we had a special location shot for this week and changed our minds a little bit. A lot of that had to do with the fact that Jake Adams died this week. And I wanted to do something more related to aquarium philosophy and the why of what we do with marine aquariums. Come on in. So going back historically, I have 50 years of marine aquarium experience, and it's really awesome to be able to provide insight into areas of expertise that I've learned through literally a lifetime of keeping marine aquariums of all types, sizes, and shapes. We build aquariums because we love it. It's an exciting occupation. It's a lifetime vocation for me. And it all starts with the tank. And there's so many things to think about when you get into the space and what will become a tank in a, in a space, like this large 2,000 gallon exhibit behind us. There's just a, a plethora of things that go through my mind the second I walk into a location, meet a client, speak to an aquarist, recognize who we're dealing with and what the objective is. There's so many things to think about. I've got a list of them. All of it will barely fit into the box. The amount of thought that goes into building a successful marine aquarium that will last the test of time. I would call it an aquarium of knowledge. There's a high probability we're gonna put that statement over the door on the entryway into the building. The tank that will become the aquarium is many facets. I'm gonna call it the who, the location, the size, the access, the filtration, delivery, MEP, mechanical electrical plumbing, structural, engineering, is it needed or is it not needed? Cabinetry, who's building the cabinet? Drafting, who's drawing what you're thinking that you're going to build? Plumbing, what plumbing is available? Sizes of all that. The sump, do you need a sump? Is it a sump? Is it internal, is it not? The filtration system has a plethora of items going in. You have chemistry, you have biology, you have electronics and monitoring, and what the heck do you plan on keeping in this aquarium anyways? That's very important to recognize. Are you gonna do cichlids, goldfish, tropicals, reef, hard, soft, mixed corals, marine fish, fowler aquarium, planted aquarium, jellyfish, predators, sharks, eels, rays, short-term, long-term, how big will they get? You gotta plan all this up front. And truly taking the time to think about it up front, really make a strategic plan, and then execute with dollars it's gonna cost some money that's a huge factor how much do you plan on spending there's a lot to it it's not just we're going to build an aquarium for something and run out the door the objective is to build a living ecosystem that's successful and is a place for the animals that you're going to hold in your aquarium what will become an aquarium and recognize that everything is finite and it, and it won't last forever there's always evolutionary change with any aquarium we have certainly hundreds of years of experience between the 24 odd people that are working here right now we need to really become kind of a portal of knowledge that knowledge is already here it isn't like we had to go buy it <laughs> it's hard to buy this knowledge and a lot of people will think they're gonna fix it and they're gonna do it right. And they're gonna come fix the whole fish business. And I've had no less than 100 guys in my life, if not 300 guys, come to me and say, oh, I can be your tank designer. I look at them, I think, okay, you'll be the tank designer. And I'll just be the guy that says, hi. <laughs> it's not about the tank designer, it's about the whole project. But that's an important thing to recognize. Why are we gonna make the videos? It's to share the knowledge. So inspiring people, to create fabulous aquariums and to learn and care about the marine life is truly the direction we go. What we are creating and we are building are educational windows to the sea. It's never over. Fish never take a day off. Corals don't take a day off. They're living, breathing animals like ourselves. So let's design it right. Let's, let's think it through and recognize it's our responsibility as aquarists to create successful aquarium ecosystems that are on a standard that's adequate and built and designed well to keep the animals alive and thriving and growing for years to come. 
what we're discussing today is an aquarium of knowledge. Once it's up and running, the tank becomes the aquarium. And I'm confident that Jake Adams would agree with that. Jake was a lifelong aquarist. He had ambitions to do some really successful aquariums, which he eventually did in Denver. And we look forward to hopefully going to the place and seeing it, maybe up here in early December. How we, as responsible humans, are going to care for this aquarium, that's what Jake Adams would have wanted all of us to think about. It's an important aspect of marine aquarium or any type of aquarium keeping, and let's do a great job in doing it right the first time. We look forward to seeing you next week on the next great video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please send them off. We're happy to help answer those questions.